Customer data collection is an activity teeming with peril and misdirection. Companies aim to sell goods and services, yet sometimes we sell products to an unintended segment of customers. As a result, customer satisfaction surveys may result in information that is flawed and not aligned with the expectations under which the product was intended for use and consumption. Metrics can come from several sources. In general, these sources can be described as suppliers, internal processes, and customers. Metrics tied to these sources include quality, cycle time, cost, value, and labor. Garvin and Besterfield, two luminaries in Six Sigma, suggested nine dimensions of quality measurement. These dimensions are framed in terms of a product. Performance pertains to the primary features of the product. Features is indicative of the secondary features added to the product. Conformance refers to obtaining a product that meets fit, form, and function. Reliability describes the dynamic quality of a product over time. Durability deals with the useful life of the product. Service applies to the ease of repair. Response pertains to human interface and its intuitiveness. As the name implies, aesthetics deals with product appearance and reputation speaks to the past performance of the product. Of course, there are many other ways to frame these dimensions based not only on the product, but also the marketplace and so forth. Secondary or consequential metrics are derived from the primary metrics. Some examples of these metrics include defects per unit, defects per million opportunities, average age, number of defects per length, scrap, and rework dollars. We collect data to gain insights into the voice of the customer. This is a very complex task. When collecting data for customers, it helps to consider the levels where customers impact the business, business level, operations level, and process level. Business level is targeted towards shareholders and top management. The data of interest is primarily financial data, such as stock price, market share, revenues, earnings, return on investment, and so forth. Operations level pertains to those who purchase the product and those who manage production operations. We seek measures of overall process performance, dealing with customer satisfaction and internal operations efficiency. Process level looks into internal metrics. These will be metrics associated with key process variables within the organization. As we migrate from business to operations to process, the frequency of data collection on an annual basis increases from once per year to monthly or weekly to daily or even several times within a day. From an internal perspective, the voice of the customer manifests itself through surveys pertaining to the employee's perceptions of the company, quality efforts, needed improvements, projects that were seen as less than value added yet worth doing, and the many facets of job satisfaction. The voice of the external customer targets the needs of the consumer directly. 
Maintaining contact with your customer is very important. Some companies see complaints as the primary means to listening to the customer. Indeed, complaints are important, but there are many other ways to glean useful and pertinent information from our customer. The common methods include customer visits, service engineer feedback, and an array of different types of customer surveys.